Hey guys, I'm Kalila Reynolds and it's time for another episode of Money Mondays brought to you in partnership with Proven Wealth. So the lab has now listed on the junior market of the Jamaica Stock Exchange and open trading has begun. Now I know a lot of you are disappointed with your share allocations and you want to buy more. Unfortunately, it's going to be tough for a while for a few reasons and I'll tell you why in a few. But first, let me explain the basis of share allotment. I got several people in my DMs last week asking me to explain this. And even though by now your broker would have already told you how many shares you were allotted, this breakdown will come in handy in the future. Case in point, Sagicor's select fund basis of allotment is due on July 31. It was delayed and that was oversubscribed too, which means those of you who applied won't get everything that you applied for, but you can just plug in this formula to calculate how much you got when the basis of allotment comes out. That way you can know several days before your broker tells you and you can plan your strategy for your refund. So this is what they announced for the lab. Now most of you would have applied under the general public pool and it says here, subscribers from the general public will receive up to the first 10,000 units plus approximately 4.62% of amounts applied for above the base allotment. All that means is that everybody gets the first 10,000 shares they applied for. That's the base. And since these shares were $1 each, the calculation is even easier. It means you got your first $10,000 worth of shares. So let's work out this example for someone who applied for 100,000 shares or $100,000. Whatever amount you applied for, you can just substitute that number for 100,000 in these calculations. The first step is to subtract the base, that's 10,000 shares. Take that out because you already know you're getting that. So let's set that one side for now. So 10, 100,000 minus 10,000 equals 90,000. That's the amount above the base. And it says you're getting 4.62% of the amount above the base. So now we need to multiply 90,000 by 4.62%. Taking you back to math class now, we have to change the percentage to a decimal by moving the decimal point two places to the left. So 4.62 becomes 0 0.0462. And then 90,000 times 0 0.0462 equals 4,158. That's the amount you got above the base. So we add that to the base now. 10,000 plus 4,158 equals 14,158 shares. So a person who applied for 100,000 shares only got about 14,000. And I know that's very disappointing. By the same math, a person who applied for a million shares only got 55,000. Now I did warn you to expect an outcome like this. Remember, they only made 50 million shares available to the public. And I did say, if you really think about it, all they need is 50 people with a million dollars to subscribe or 500 people with $100,000 each. And that money is easily out there. So I knew this would be a difficult one to get into in any substantial way. Now, what that does is drive up the demand when trading opened. But here's the problem. With such a small share allocation, everybody's hugging up their little 10,000 shares plus 4%. Nobody wants to sell. Everybody's trying to buy more. And what makes it worse is the JSC has a circuit breaker rule. They don't allow share prices to go up or down more than 30% in one day, which means that on day one of trading, the maximum the lab shares were allowed to sell for is $1.30, which is exactly where it ended the day. But if you look at the volume of shares on Friday, only a measly 100 shares traded because like I said, everybody's hugging up their tiny allotment. Nobody wants to sell and those who are inclined to sell don't want to sell for so low. I saw something on Twitter and I wish I had saved it or screenshotted it because now I can't find it. But it was showing buy orders and sell orders for the lab on Friday and there were only four sell orders. 
and a long, 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 long list of buy orders. And the four sell orders had prices ranging from $3.30 all the way up to $6. So those four people are only willing to sell their shares at those prices. But because of the circuit breaker rule, it's going to take a few days before it even gets to $3.30. And even for those people who are willing to sell at those prices, the volumes are very low, like 18000 20,000 shares each because remember nobody got a lot of shares to begin with so I think that for a few days at least we're going to see just a trickle of shares selling because you do have to sell something for the price to change if nobody sells anything then it would just stay at one dollar forever so I think there'll be a tiny amount selling each day until the price gets to a point where more people are willing to sell or are comfortable to sell. Now another thing that makes this stock even more attractive now, they just released their results for the six months ended April 30, 2019, which rightfully should have been included in the prospectus. And I know some of you were concerned that maybe they were hiding something by those most recent results not being in the prospectus. But guess what? The results are pretty good. They made $57 million net profit in those six months. That's 8% more than a similar period the year before. So the growth trajectory for the lab continues. That's it for this edition of Money Mondays. I'm Kalila Reynolds. See you next week.